Hey Fano, how's it going? Hey, uh, we're out on a papakainga, and I thought I would do a um, uh, what has been uh, our failures or what has been our mistakes for 2022 in relationship to our marakai. Um, I think sometimes when you're watching um, some of the videos and people doing their mahi and whatever sphere it is, particularly online and on YouTube, you can get all the success stories and all the lovely pretty uh, pictures and all that. But I thought I would show you just some of the some of the failures we've had this year. Um, and I'm not necessarily saying failures. We made some decisions, um, and I'll explain about them. Um, and but the consequences are things didn't go as well as we anticipated. Anyway, uh, that's what we're on to today, and then I'll do a follow-up video of probably my three top uh, vegetables for this year, or last year. Anyway, uh, click the like button, ring the, um, the notification bell so you get more of these uh, come up on your, um, on your system, and uh, share about if you enjoy it. So here we are um, on our whenua. And a papa kaying it, and uh, our first item that was probably a uh, failure for us is I experimented with growing um, garlic this year, um, one in this raised bed, and here's what they turned out like like piddly little things. Um, the ones here, uh, yeah, we just weren't on land enough to, to look after it which will be the biggest story of this, this video. Uh, back on at, at home, I had a, uh, a garlic uh, spot as well, and that hasn't grown and done too well. Um, the, some of the experts around our community are saying that it's probably because I, I had it was shaded by trees, and so there wasn't enough sunlight on it, um, and I may have planted a little bit too late. So we're just going up to this day and look over that. The other one um, that hasn't done us really well this year has been our mara, marakai on our papakainga. And so here's what it looks like. You'll recall down here, even though there is asparagus in there, um, I planted some asparagus in there this year. So um, as you can see, uh, we we started planting in there. I had piru piru in there. There is piru piru in there. But again, the weeds have come up. Um, I left this mutter to sit for this year, and we had stuff growing in there. Um, we had put tomatoes over here, um, and then there was potatoes and piru piru, I think from memory, strawberries, and then a series of potatoes that are planted in here, mild potatoes, um, and then a kumara, and I was gonna put in kumara in, in, in this period here. Um, but let's let's go. I'll, we'll have a look around. So this this one here has been probably our failure for the year in relationship to our mother. Now you will recall, um, I well may not. I may have not actually said this, but I decided this year um, we struggled having two locations, um, our backyard garden and our mother on the Fenua, looking after both mother with green and eatable vegetables. So this year we decided that on our papakainga here, we would just plant the kumara, the potatoes and the piru piru, um, and just nurture the strawberries along, uh, and then have all my green stuff back at the house. Um, and uh, as, as you can see by other videos, the green stuff back at the house was pretty awesome. Um, and it's going well. And, and I'm going to do a video following this one in regards to my three top uh, vegetables for 2022. Um, so watch for that to come up soon. But anyway, here, um, let's have a look around. And um, here. So now, when I, what I mean about my failure is we, yeah. We had some real struggles this year in relationship to availability and access. Um, in Northland, uh, we had rain um, up, up and down uh, on a regular basis that we actually couldn't get access um, to the whenua. Uh, 
on a regular basis and so hence why the weeds took over but if I look inside here we are uh, we've got our um, asparagus planted I pull this back I actually have some in here it's come through now I'm gonna th oh, I'll tidy this up but um, this flower or this here this one here, that's asparagus and there's a series of them that go along there um, all that's happened here is we haven't been able to weed it and feed it and nurture it. Um, one of the good things about this particular part of the mutter is I wasn't after asparagus this year and next year. Um, this is a 15 to 20 year project, this particular one. Um, so I'm not too concerned about it. It's a failure in one sense because we haven't, we haven't been able to uh, weed weed the mutter but we weren't expecting to get a harvest of, of um, asparagus out of this one uh, but you can see it uh, growing in there as it should have been um, if you look back probably three or four months um, there is a me planting my asparagus where I dug a trench uh, planted the bulbs in there and you know this is the these these are it this, this is it here um, this one particular one here that's that's asparagus um, so we'll, yeah that's that's one of it again um, this mother here uh, oh sorry I had left to settle for last year um, doing the one in seven let the land lie uh, principle which we get from a Hebrew tradition and I had planted um, actually there is Look at that. There is actually something in here. There's a potato. Oh, you know. Ah, you know. This is interesting. The grass has grown over the mutter, but underneath it, there's actually kaivia. So, although we didn't work it and um, by looking on my latest video back on the land in relationship to the us back on the Fenua in relationship to um, lettuces you can see the difference so this is really just a failure of husbandry and upkeep um, I don't really have excuses for that other than that we were just busy and um, I think it was like two weeks up until uh, Christmas it was raining and just wasn't wasn't nice. That's our pity pity patch. Yep, it is what it is. Um, tomatoes. Last year we had our tomatoes uh, growing here. Uh, the sister-in-laws like them. We've got them growing, but it's just neglect. It's just um, you know we haven't we haven't been able to look after it. So the the, the tomatoes and um, and I got some more yeah see in here I planted some more um, piri piri in here so again we might have another look and see what's um, what's happened but it might actually you know there might be some stuff in there so we'll, we'll have, a, have a nosy this is my big one we had a really good um, good amount of strawberries weed this I hate this, this type of weed it's overgrown um, and I don't know if there's anything in there I won't know until I actually get in and um, have a look but that's um, it's a bit of a heartbreak and here is another spot where we had potatoes um, again if I just actually pull the weeds back yeah, there's one in there, look at that. So there may be more underneath. You know, back there is, if I just, yes, look at that. There is some. So we might be surprised. And in fact, I can see other potatoes in there. This was the, I think I had three bags, four bags of different potatoes uh, from memory. 
and here and I think the bags will be actually be in here just to, yes they are yep yep so we've got different types different types of potatoes that are planted but you might you never know you know look at it actually uh, yeah and then mm, not sure how well she's gonna be doing in there but yeah this this will be the, my worst uh, my worst uh, season for Kumba last year we had a really good crop so um, no excuses really to have weeds growing in the mudder um, we we did make decisions and um, the weather was really against us and so we put all our efforts into the mudder uh, back at our home the backyard garden uh, back at home and, and the fruits of that are you can see that we've actually got a really good mudder um, over there um, yeah, so although it's disappointing, um, it's looking like we will have some potatoes that I tried out this year, which will definitely have some, some kumara. Um, we've got some piri piri down there and the asparagus that I planted at the back over by the beehive there. Um, that is growing and um, uh, they sit on the, on the packet. The, the shop that they're actually you're not going to get um, anything off them for a couple of years so even though it's overgrown by weeds we we do see the asparagus um, has come through and I'll just let them go to flower um, I'm just disappointed personally because we put a lot of effort into here thankfully though look I look down into where my pofino is and this part of the, the mara, like we've actually got We've got base stuff there, but it's just dry and you know it hasn't been it hasn't been used. Um, yeah, we put a lot of effort in. But anyway, that's part of the journey. And um, as I said, I wanted to show where we didn't really have what uh, we were expecting to have the success, success of it. Um, even trialing out, you know, as I saw showed you before, with the garlic up here, we had pumpkins in here, and up there again, it didn't work out. Um, Part of your butter, you, you kind of have you need to be around it, um, and we do a lot of things, uh, Josie and I, and sometimes we just can't be everywhere all the time. And you know, this is the result of it if left uncared for, it's going to return back to its natural environment. In other words, the weeds are going to come through and take over. Um, yeah. I was hoping to do a bit more mahi down here and add some orchard. Well, yeah, not. Those are other things that we can get up to and um, sort, sort out. So, yeah, life's not necessarily always easy on in a mutter. Um, you you got to just keep working at it, eh? You just got to keep um, tilling away and uh, as the scriptures talk about. By the sweat of your brow, um, you will have to work. Uh, it's part of the curse that we have when it comes to gardening, and you got to keep on top of it and keep working uh, at it. But we've got a basis of um, a foundation here. That we can just bring it back, and it won't. It won't take much. You know, I'll, I'll spend a good day in here or so, and this will pull all the weeds out. Look what we actually got in there, particularly where the potatoes are and the pitu pitu and tidy up around the asparagus. Um, you know, maybe get some fertiliser and nutrients to the um, the kumba and the rest of the vegetables. But I just wanted to show you um, all the glitz and all the lovely vegetables that you see are not necessarily always the case. And um, you know, you can get discouraged by Yeah, um, so you can get discouraged by things not working out the way you planned it 
And I know for some of us, uh, 2022 was a rough year. Um, for Joseph and I, it was actually a really good year. So um, it, it, there are times in, in our lives and seasons that are, that are difficult. And sometimes you actually have to make a decision and that decision uh, is, will, could lead to a sacrifice in that particular area of your life for the benefit of somewhere else. And even though, um, like if you look back through, uh, particularly last year's season, this mother here on our Papa Kainga was really awesome. It was a joy being in it. Um, and uh, it was, but, the joy of being in it and trying to manage two sites, uh, I was exhausted. Uh, we were traveling back and forward a lot and it's only a half an hour trip between the two locations, but having green vegetables in two sites, uh, plus the potatoes and kumara here uh, and the other vegetables that we had growing here, if you look back and see it, it was, it was too hard to manage both sites and neither site actually um, was very strong or, or could get their potential so we did make a, dis, a decision to to plant the, the kumara potatoes and again it's a trial uh, we trialed it out um, and the thing that was restricting me on this site was just access to it uh, and then i said to the rain but that's part of life uh, it's part of the mother it's part of growing in the garden um, what we actually do have now is because we've actually got a lot of lot of um, uh, what was it? it's, not, it's not a cover crop, but we've actually got um, growth in the soil. When I pull this back, I should actually have a good foundation for uh, planting um, next year uh, or into the into the season. So I have to figure out what I'm, what I'm going to do with this once I pull it all back. Uh, but I can harvest some some kumara, some piru piru, and some some potato that we trialled out uh, this year. Which is which is all right um, on that side. Um, going into 2023, you know, you you acknowledge what uh, you do, um, and then you look for another goalpost. You know, uh, you look for another another waypoint, uh, a site on a on a hill or a tree on a hill or an estuary or somewhere, and go right. That's where we're going to this this year this time. If we keep looking back. Um, uh, to the past, and, and particularly looking back at our mistakes, we actually lose sight of where we're going. Um, so, yep, it's a good time this year to, to look back and, and think about, oh, okay, uh, we you know, check our mistakes and learn and, and, and learn the lessons from it. Um, uh, but you don't just keep looking back. Yeah, you, you, you won't know where you're going to um, or what that next waypoint is or what that next target is. And um, particularly if you're munting through the bush, or in our case, if you're, if you're doing the garden, uh, we do need to keep planning for what's coming up because the seasons just keep rolling through. Um, and what you're trying to do um, is to have fruit and fruitfulness in its season. So even though I, I, I titled this the, our, our 2022 failures, um, this, this has also been a good lesson for us in relationship to time and energy uh, relationship to uh, the impact of decisions that we make and sometimes you actually do have to just make a decision in life and then just live with the consequences of it as uh, long as it's not hurting people as long as it's not hurting the environment um, uh, make a decision make a decision to do something this year uh, make a decision to actually go here's a goal what I'm going to achieve I want to achieve and this is the waypoint this is how we're going to go about doing it um, and then give it a go uh, you won't know um, until you actually get out of bed, um, get up, keep your hands dirty, and take action. And here, that's the lesson for us today. Um, yeah, we made some decisions, we've got the consequences of it, we had other issues against us, and that's fine, that's just, that's just part of it. Um, but we've got the foundation here for us to move forward. All right then, uh, it's a bit of a long one, uh, but please, uh, thanks for, thanks for if you're watching, if you're still watching, I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that you taking a time out of your day uh, to follow us and what we're doing, and um, I hope that there are things in here that, that just help you out, um, not only in the practicality of what we're doing with our mother, but just some life lessons around 
um, being a good person and uh, being someone that's uh, that is sensitive to the Holy Spirit in their lives, someone who's willing to, to put God first and, and find ways of helping out other people. Um, my next video will be actually my probably the top three um, vegetables that, uh, for 2022. And although I'm saying that the kumara potatoes have been a failure this year um, on this side, actually between the last season and this season, they, they're, they're, they're up there for one of my top, top three uh, vegetables. But that's another video. Alright then, God bless and have a great day. Okay.